Hello and Bach Humbug. Today we'll be taking some leftover Christmas turkey and turning it into turkey noodle soup. And before people start writing in the comments, isn't it a little late for Christmas turkey? Yes. Yes it is. But I recorded this video like two days after Christmas, then my phone broke and I had to ship it off, and I just got it back. So now I'm playing catch up with my videos, which means you'll get a video from me every single day this weekend. The first thing you'll need for the soup is your turkey. Now this recipe is based on using a turkey that was cooked Lebanese style, which basically means it was braised in its own broth rather than roasted. But if you roasted your turkey and you have no broth, no problem, just use chicken broth. If you wanna know how to make the Lebanese style turkey, I'll throw a link up in the top right corner to that video. And I'll also put one in the description. Next, you'll need some mirepoix. Mirepoix is the base for many dishes, and it's basically 50% onion, 25% carrot, and 25% celery. If you were in Louisiana, you would just replace the carrots with bell peppers and you would have what is called the trinity. You'll find those two terms used in cookbooks and recipes quite often. Now place a large pot over medium high heat and add a couple tablespoons of cooking oil and a couple tablespoons of butter. Then add your mirepoix and season it with salt and pepper. Now add four dried bay leaves and a few sprigs of fresh thyme. Let it cook, stirring occasionally, for about 10 minutes. Once your onions start to turn translucent, add your turkey and your broth and stir. Once it comes to a boil, reduce the heat to low. And at this point, I like to add a quarter teaspoon of cayenne just to kick it up a notch. Bam! Oh my goodness! Now let's cook our noodles. You can use any noodles you like. I'm using rigatoni. Throw a pot of hot water on high heat and salt it liberally. Always salt your pasta water. Once your water comes to a boil, add your pasta and let it cook for 12 minutes. Then strain it and run cold water over it. Once the pasta has cooled, transfer it to a bowl and drizzle it with a little bit of olive oil. This will stop your pasta from sticking when you refrigerate it later. When it comes to the noodle soup, you don't want to put the noodles in until it's time to serve. Otherwise, your noodles will just turn to mush. Once you're finished with the pasta, your soup should be ready. You're just looking for the carrots to be tender and not crunchy. Just before serving, finish the soup with one cup of fresh parsley and half a cup of lemon juice. Now we're ready to plate it up. First Just add some noodles to the bottom of your bowl. Next, ladle a couple scoops of meat and veggies on top of your noodles. Then top it with a ladle or two of your broth. I like to garnish mine with crackers, some fresh parsley sprigs, and a slice of lemon. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Leftover Christmas turkey noodle soup. Tune in tomorrow when I'll be making Alabama roadside boiled peanuts. Thanks for watching, everyone. Goodbye, good night, and as always, bah humbug. Thank you.